guys I just want you to know that now you can join my channel uh, on your PC or your phone uh, you would click the join button and you can scroll and you can join for $9.99 each month and get early access to all videos and you can also um, get one question answered by me every month um, and you'll get access to all the extendeds there is also another tier uh, for $14.99, uh, you will get two questions answered every month and access to uh, all the extended readings and early access to just all videos. So take advantage now. Uh, it's here for you. Thank you. Take care. Hello, 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 Aquarius. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking. Do like. Go ahead. Click it. Like it. Thank you. For liking the video, uh, commenting, you have to comment down below. Let me know how this will resonate with you. Um, just thank you for being here, being here overall. Uh, thank you to, I get a lot of viewership in New York, LA, Chicago, Dallas, Houston, Atlanta, London, and Philly. So if you're in any of those um, states or cities or towns, whatever you, you would call those um then uh hello and thank you for your viewership is high in those places so um again thank you i want to visit houston i haven't been to houston um i have not been to london um would love to come uh i had the opportunity but i was it was years ago i was afraid i, I was i i used to have a fear of flying like a legitimate fear and um but anyway moving on because this ain't about me this is about you aquarius um let's get into it thank you god for blessing the aquarius with a clear concise message from you all right aquarius um this reading puts me in a place of hmm we just say hmm um if you're high vibrational evolved you feel empathy or apathy, wh whichever one comes first for you. I don't know. This reading is about, so let's talk about the vision I got in meditation. So I got, um, it was like a black Panther, though there is no such thing as a black Panther. It is, uh, you know, black cheetah, a, a jaguar or whatnot. But we have, you know, named it Black Panther. So I got a Black Panther and the panther was just sitting at rest, but it was still like in predator mode. Um, but it was at rest. It was stealth. It was hunting. You know, um, panthers, uh, especially the black ones, the black big cats, they hunt at night. They live by water. Of course, they're heavily melanated. Um, they're flexible, okay? Um, that's what I got for, for in, in uh, meditation. And then it went into um, like Tai Chi came up. And it's funny. Well, I'll come back to that. But yeah, so Tai Chi came up. I don't know if you practice it, if you need to practice it. If you thought about you, We'll go into practicing some type of Tai Chi, then there you are. You got your answer. It's also, you know, some people call it you know, shadow boxing. So what it is, it's for defense training. It's, it, you know, it's good for health benefits. And it also um, allows you to become more flexible. And the Black Panther is flexible by nature. So, um you know, and it's also used for meditation. And we saw the Black Panther at a place of just sitting still, stealth. I also, for the Black Panther, I got the Yang energy. So that's the masculine, the man or the masculine energy there. And then with the Tai Chi, if you go and look up Tai Chi, the symbol for Tai Chi is the Yin Yang symbol. How funny, right? That's that because I started to do research after this. So it's like... You've got man, woman, or if it's same sex relationship, then you have to place masculine, feminine where it belongs. So you've got, we're just gonna use man, woman, just, you know, just keep it simple. 
You've got a masculine energy who is still in predator mode, but he's stealth. He's in a place of true inertia, not moving, right? And then we have that feminine yang energy, excuse me, yin energy, who is, you know, shadow boxing, practicing, you know, meditation, um, trying to be more flexible. Um, so we've got a feminine energy doing something and we got the yang energy doing nothing. Um, We've got the yin and energy creating, maybe trying to create more stability, more of a peaceful environment in her life. And then we got the masculine energy who's just sitting and sulking. Now think about this because we want to get into the cards now. You can fast forward that part, but you'll see how it kind of plays into the cards. So it's like, well, how does this play into the Aquarius, you know, reading? Um, so in the Sabilas, we have joyfulness and then we have sorrow and then we have room. Okay. So what these cards tell me is that it looks like the yin energy is at a place where, you know, there's joyfulness happening. There's happiness. Uh, this person could be. Uh, attending outings, um, gatherings with friends, uh, having fun conversations, doing things. And maybe this masculine energy is in a place of sulking, sorrow, pining over something that was lost. This is loss here. A relationship, a breakup. This could even be money problems, um, money issues. They're in deep sorrow about a loss, a breakup right and this one of the energies is hoping that they get another opportunity another opportunity with whomever left the connection whomever is in joyfulness right now is happy with their life is happy with where they are this energy the sorrow energy is like i just need a chance meeting i want to run into this person who's happy without me i want to see them i just need an opportunity i need a, to get in the same room with this person um i need a meeting this card talks about meeting so this person can be saying i just need to meet with this person and maybe that's why they're in that black panther stealth mode just sitting still i asked the card to say well is it the aquarius in the black panther stealth mode it could be, could not be, because it's, you know, it's going to be for so many different people, right? And they said, no, eight of swords. Could be Gemini. Could be someone with Gemini uh, placements. If it's not, um, it's somebody who's double-minded right now. They're stuck. They don't know what to do. They've given up agency. They're just waiting for someone to come and rescue them out of this place of um, prison or imprisonment in their mind. They don't know if they can go back to, if they should go forward. If, so they're stuck here. And it's not the Aquarius, okay? This person is mad at themselves for maybe even falling in love with the Aquarius, liking the Aquarius, letting the Aquarius penetrate their heart space. Because we have also the Emperor, so we have more masculine energy, more Yang energy, okay? Um, this person really wants to take a leap of faith, take a step, see where they can get, maybe with the feminine energy, they want to go forward, but they're standing still. They're also heavily wrapped in ego. You know, I can't let this other party know that I really love them. I like them. I want the relationship back. I miss them. Therefore, I'm going to rest in my ego. I'm going to be um, the widower. It talks about a sad, lonely man pining over a loved one. Um, tears cry mourning the loss of someone feels like they're running out of time also could be cancer we got the chariot card coming up it could be anybody though don't get caught up in the signs this is somebody who is trying to get in control of their emotions and their thoughts they're trying to move forward they want forward movement but it's hard the universe is trying to pull this person out of a very depressed place because they're depressed 
and somebody is a sad, lonely man. Okay. There's extreme depression. Okay. Happening here because, um, when I went to clarify all of this, um, it looks like this person could be coming to a place of where they're going to come out of it because we did have the ace of wands at the bottom of the deck and that is more yang energy more masculine energy more action so someone may take action they're going to be up for the challenge of just moving it forward whether they hear yes or no and then we got the lovers coming up so this could definitely be like a twin flame soulmate life partner whatever you subscribe to someone who was um you know you were destined to meet them um, they may have not chosen the soulmate connection when they met you. They were looking at maybe the physicality of the relationship because, um, yeah, they were looking at how great you are or how great you look or how they want to get you in bed. Um, they may have been saying, oh, your body is perfect. So they were looking at, you know, the sexual nature while maybe a, a feminine energy, the yin energy was like, oh, this could be my life partner. This could be the one. I see a real strong connection, blah, blah, blah. While the other person was like, yeah, take the panties off. You know, it, so it, there, it wasn't a meeting of the minds. Somebody wasn't ready, but um, somebody left the connection. Somebody got dumped and now somebody wants the other person back. And they are in deep regret and in deep sorrow, maybe even depressed about the fact that they did not take advantage of the soulmate twin flame connection here. All right. Um, you may hear from this person within a week, next week, something like that. Or next week could be significant for you. We got the new moon coming up on the 28th, I believe. So in a few days, what? Three days. Um, this person may want to come back to you and start telling the truth. You know? Start speaking truthfully. They didn't tell you something. They didn't, they weren't honest with you when you guys were together. Again, they were just looking at how sexy you were, how to, how would the sex be, how that thing going to you know, all that stuff, whatever. Um, again, they were not honest with you and they may want to come back. They weren't honest that maybe they had somebody else. They were already in a connection. Okay. Um, and now that you've left, uh, they're stuck on you stoner they they may even be you know taking different drugs or alcohol just to kind of suppress the feelings the thoughts of you maybe by Thanksgiving they'll, they'll reach out to you about Thanksgiving something would have manifested or turned over or I don't know something something's gonna happen we're gonna see we'll pull some more cards they also may want to come back and give you thanksgiving. They want to thank you for being the person you are. You maybe awaken them to their true um, irrational nature. And now they want to come back and be rational. They want to be logical. They want to um, maybe even be caring. Okay, be more caring towards you. Um, this person could be leaving a relationship or a lifestyle that they were in. You know, they were miserable in that house or that relationship. Um, were miser mis so houses are, right, um, supposed to be a shelter, security, um, where we go to find refuge, comfort. So wherever they, their house is, wherever they built their house, whether it was at work, um, maybe they were a workaholic or they were all about material things and material gains, um, money. Wherever they built their house, whether it was that they were in a literal relationship, they were miserable there and um, they may be coming out of this or they have already come out of that relationship. Yeah, they kept this. They want to come out of um, maybe a legal activity. You could have been dealing with somebody like a thug or somebody who was doing something behind the scenes. If not, they want to come out of a hiding, like um, a sneaking around type of relationship, doing something illegal with you. That's wrong, right? They, they know they were they have a wife or a husband at home and then they were sneaking around with you, right? They want to come out of that. They could be having money issues because this card talks about money issues. We got business in the reverse. Um, the business could be going down. Things aren't just, they, everything, there's no growth. Things could be stagnant for them. They may not be all the way broke, destitute, homeless. Some of them could be, I don't know. 
But things are not growing. Things are not moving forward. Wow, yeah. They're absolutely stuck. You know, um, it's stuck on you. They're stuck in life. It's kind of like a wandering that they're doing. They're just wandering around. They just wake up and do the same thing. They're on autopilot. They're waiting for somebody, you, to come back into their life, you know, and uh, take over. Take them out of this misery. Uh, for some of you, it might just be a hell no. Yes in reverse. So that's a no, right? Um, some of you, you just don't trust it. You don't want it back. It is what it is. You know, that's why I said, you know, in the beginning, some of you, it's like, I don't know. You know, you feel almost neutral. Like, I, you don't feel anything. Maybe you... You've wasted a lot of feelings on this person. What is the advice for Aquarius moving forward? Come out of being angry. Okay. Definitely don't make decisions in anger. In uh, yeah, a hurt place. Hurt people hurt people. Come into that neutrality. Is that a word? Um, uh, come into just no expectations if you do grant this person the meeting that they want the conversation that they desire don't go into it angry let your defenses down wow muscular don't go into it be strong be strong in your convictions um, be strong in w what you know is true don't be moved um don't be moved um emotionally uh Make sure everything is rational. We had irrational come out in, re in reverse. So make this person make sure this person is being rational, you know, because this is um it could even this energy could turn into desperation. So when you're desperate, you'll do anything, you'll say anything. So make sure that this person is being honest, or they can live up to what they're promising you, the change that they're promising, the things that they'll do. Make sure they can live up to that. So they want you to be strong in your conviction. For some of you, you might have to be strong and keeping this person in the friend zone for now, okay? This person or you could be trying to save the marriage. This is the advice for you, trying to save the marriage or the relationship. Maybe um, some of you will try, okay? Some of you won't. Um, if it's not the relationship or the marriage altogether, then we'll just salvage the connection and we'll just be friends. We won't end on a bad note, you know, just, yeah, it will be what it's going to be. What is the advice for Aquarius? Body goals and handsome. Okay. Ooh. Somebody may come back to you all, like, looking good. That's why they want you to stand on your square. They may come back to you fit you know handsome smelling good looking good they're really gonna try to persuade you or this is the advice for you maybe this is how you need to show up in that energy uh, male or female you need to show up oh we did have that yang energy coming out so that's masculine could be trying to come they they trying to tempt you honey you know if they yeah with the ace of wands here temptation seductive um, the art of seduction also with the ace of wands. So this person may be coming back and they may be looking good, smelling good. They're going to try to tempt you into, you know, saying yes, you know, moving things forward. Yeah. Tempt you into loving them again or starting the love back up or um, they may come off very loving. What is the advice for Aquarius? No compromise. That's what I'm talking about. Do not compromise what it is you are deserving of. Um, yeah, don't compromise what it is you're deserving of, okay? Because um, this looks like seduction. You know, with the Ace of Wands here, body goals, handsome, muscular, trying to come back and just move you to a place of allowing for them to manipulate, manipulate the energy. But the cards are saying no compromise. Stand on your square. Be strong. You might have to keep this person in a friend zone for now. Be strong. You could be loving, you can, but you can still be strong. Don't go into it angry. 
you know, if you do grant this person a conversation or they grant you whatever side you're on, but don't compromise what it is you say you want or you're deserving of. Don't compromise that. This person, this one to come out. So they worship anything other than, you know, supreme being. And the example could be money, money. You know, we talked about that too. Like whatever they, they're trying to come out of this lifestyle, whatever they made their house. They could be very materialistic and things are going down for them. And now they could be trying to attach to you, trying to get things back up for themselves. They could be studying you like that Black Panther, just at inertia, but still in predator mode, still, you know, watching, waiting for the opportunity to pounce the chariot card to move forward and pounce to take action, strategic action. Yeah, so you get somebody here trying to figure out how they can come back. It has been weeks of no communication between you and this person says eat more veggies literally or it talks about healthy healthy relationships healthy dynamic you just want health healthy uh connections in your life this person may be coming back and is trying to say that they're healthy or they want a healthy relationship or they learn they want to date you but um this is lust okay they want you to say yes but you're going to be slow to give a response okay you can't take them serious because all the promises that they made in the past. Again, this could be somebody coming back trying to gaslight you. They're extremely immature, right? Um, you were their sunshine, but you turned the light out in their life by leaving. And so now it's kind of dark, in a dark place. They could even be suffering from illness or being sick or they're kind of like feeling sick without you this is um love sick over you also uh, things could just be going down for them they fear of losing you because they know it's a good idea to be with you to choose you and they were unkind to you to put everything and everybody before the relationship and right now they'll say anything they say anything says anything this person will say anything they could be saying that they're divorcing, maybe by your birthday, that they want growth. Um, ooh, it flipped in reverse. Or that they've had growth. Or by your birthday, you'll see that there's been no growth, there's been no change. By Valentine's Day, you might be cutting this person off or cutting it short because you don't feel safe with them. You don't feel there's any security in this relationship. Wow, can't make it up. And you just may separate. So look, some of you might give, you've been going through this with this person for a long time and they feel like they can do this little in and out song and dance with you for a lifetime, okay? Um, the cards are telling you, you give this person a chance like you used to you you'll probably be broken up by your birthday or Valentine's Day. Your birthday could be on Valentine's Day here. You'll see that there's no growth. Valentine's Day will be significant. Maybe you'll expect them to show up for you. And they may put you on hold. I can't talk after 8 p.m. They may put you in that same old third party BS and you'll understand that there's no security, there's no safety in this relationship. You may be divorcing, you may try to make this marriage work, but then you may see eventually go through the motions is what I'm hearing. So you can go through it, you can really close doors and close it out. As long as you try to force it to not close out or you try to write the narrative on this relationship is still going to linger. If this person was to reach out to you and say they want to talk to you, then you have to go into that with no anger, strong, and no compromise. 
if they can't give you what you want, it's okay. You know, we have the conversation. It's time for me to move on. Do know that there's going to be a lot of temptation here. This person wants to, you know, they want you to make an irrational, whoa, irrational decision. They want you to be tempted by them. My ear is now uh, itching. My right ear. So this is a yes answer. They're going to come in like, you know, they want you to be quick about it, but it looks like you're not. They want you to be, wow, can't, they want you to be quick say yes for some of my guys the girl may come in very lustful um saying the right things to get that thing you know moving but it looks like this is just another go round cycle right you start it back up y'all gonna get the same outcome insanity so you might want to think about that. And then if you do give this person an opportunity to talk to you, excuse me, to um, hear them out. Um, let me see. Let's go over here. Yeah. If you give them an opportunity to talk to you, to give them an opportunity where you can hear them out or whatever, go into it with your non-negotiables. I won't be in a third party situation. When I call, when I text, please call me back. Don't ghost me. Don't call me back eight, nine, ten hours later. Uh, I don't know what your non-negotiables are. We need to date. We need to see each other. You know, more than once every three weeks. I don't know. You know, whatever your non-negotiable will be. And if they can't agree to that, if they don't want to agree to it, if they fail, if they if you if they say yes but they fail, you need to be able to walk away. You you can't be so attached to it that you can't walk away. And then also, if you feel like you are, you don't even need to give this person a, another opportunity to get you stuck. Holding back my feelings because I don't know how to express myself. I also want you to chase me game. We talked about that, about this emperor still stuck in ego, knowing that he wants to talk to you. He wants to see you, but not doing anything. Maybe even trying to do like male, male doing magic or spells or something like that. Um, this person could be in their yin energy, the negative side of yin energy. Are they catty? They're petty, dramatic, gossipy, just a warmonger. We don't sit amongst those people because you'll take on that energy. Um, so this person could want you to, you know, um, come take a, you know, a walk on the dark side. This person also could, uh, what is this about? They could be trying to bait you into an argument. If they can just get you to talk to them, you know, even if it's an argument, if they can bait you into coming out of your high vibration, your newfound self, or um, I just identifying with positivity and light. If they can get you out there cursing in the middle of the street, if they can move you, they will. Yeah always comes out for Aquarius usurp they just want to take a position of power or importance illegally or by force so they may want to just move you off your square Aquarius and that's what we had um, you know no no compromise because you're you're on to something big and better new doors opportunity will be will be open up to you um, I'm hearing like your name in different rooms, you know, like you, people are talking about you, what you bring to the table. This person could have been having an affair with their coworker at work. Somebody could have been a sex worker or they deal with sex workers, uh, only fans, exotic dances, escort, prostitution, pay for play, all that stuff. Somebody could be in that life. Someone wants to pull them back into that or someone's trying to get out of that or somebody is saying, I'm not doing that anymore. Someone is deciding just to accept the BS relationship. 
they just give in. You know, um, it could be you, Aquarius. You're like, well, this is as good as it gets. Some of you may be telling this person, look, you chose to give love to the wrong person. You need to face it and then you need to fix it. So it's not anything that you can do. Um, so this fell out. The universe wants you to know your money decreases when they are in your life. Take note. So your money decreases when they come into your life. Their money increases because we saw them with a decrease here. Their money decreases when you're out of their life. This may be two people. Um, this is like karma between two people. And you guys haven't resolved it. One party may not want to, you know, come into enlightenment, ascension, and resolve the karma, the karma between the two of you. Therefore, the universe just tries to show you by way of energy. And when they're in your life, your money goes down or things get stagnant. And then when you leave their life, excuse me, when you're in their life, their money goes up. Things are bright. Things are sunny. You're their sunshine. You're their good luck charm. But your money is stagnant or it decreases, right? And then when you decide, I've had enough of this and you leave their life, their money decreases and yours goes up, you know. You're you're in a place of joyfulness and your name being in different rooms that you haven't even visited, you know. So that's very indicative of negative karma between two people, two people who have met with that lover's card, but someone didn't choose a soulmate union, therefore there's karma and the both of you had to figure out why you met deal with your issues individually and then possibly come back together or separate whatever you want to do but it's karma it's something you need to learn karma is this lesson so when you start hearing karma on these tarot readings just automatically go to lesson lesson you need to learn a lesson here it's karma lesson what's the lesson it's not you know i don't know what your lesson will be but you need to you know go to start thinking of lesson I had a lesson to I had a lesson to learn in regards to meeting this person they have a lesson to learn it's not for me to find out what their lesson is it's not for me to do no none of that I'm gonna do my lesson I'm gonna get my lesson and I'm gonna move on with my life and uh, sever this um, this tie if this person can't raise their vibration and uh, and it is what it is you know some of y'all get too caught up in that soulmate, twin flame, all that stuff, to where you let it consume you and let you let it, you stay in relationships longer than you really should, you know. Um, yeah, okay. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and He shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. So some of you just need to wait. Yeah, you need to sever ties from somebody who is still in this low vibrational energy, and you just need to wait on the Lord because He's gonna make your heart, you know, um, strong. Okay, somebody, this is what I'm saying. This is where they are. They, they have no peace, sleepless nights, constant company. They love to, you know, go out, have fun with this joyfulness, acting like they're having fun, but deep inside, they feel sorrow. Okay, deep inside, they feel sorrow. Um, they have constant company. They're always on the phone. They never want silence, never wanting silence. Because in the silence, you hear the truth. They don't want things to be quiet. They want things loud. They, you know, they don't want to hear that. Um, that, you know, maybe they need to fix some things about themselves. Keep in mind, back to the Black Panther that we had in the beginning. So the Black Panther is sitting, you know, in, in silence, in the dead of night, at night, um, waiting, you know, to pounce, waiting to be the predator that he is right so you've got somebody waiting for the opportunity um yeah you got somebody waiting for the opportunity to pounce on you to you know ace of wands you seduce you the art of seduction to take control of the situation with the chariot card to maybe even usurp the chariot card is about victory the underdog right now your person could feel like the underdog because they're in the dark and they're pining over you 
and they could even be suffering from loss of money and they feel like they're running out of time with the old woman coming out here wow can't make this shit up and we talk about them being in a desperate place and we got despair coming out this person is um in a desperate place you know in despair because they lost their sweetheart that's who you are you're caring loving okay now they may want to come back and say that they want to be faithful or faithfulness or um, they want a new chance or a new start with you okay but i can't make this shit up it's all about money Look at that. It's all about money. And they're still conceited. They're still arrogant. Haltiness. They still think they're God's gift to a man or, or a woman. Um, this is who you're dealing with. I'm trying to get this thing to focus. Um, this is who you're dealing with. You know. Never mind my nails, y'all. I'm getting them done today yeah constancy it says if if it's bad it's gonna stay bad if it's good it's gonna you know stay good and it seems like it's bad between the two of you or this person is just bad they just don't want to ride you know raise their vibration they may even want things back to the way it used to be they want constancy they want the status quo um you may find something out if you do have a conversation with this person or another person um, you get some type of truth, clarity. There's some unresolved issues between this you and this person. They're trying to find ways of trying to come back to you. They think you have somebody else, and maybe you do. They're waiting. They're jealous. There's also another woman here who's still attached to them. They're trying to find ways of trying to get rid of this issue, this wife, this other woman. For some of you, uh this might surprise you or this situation this event that will happen whether they call you next week we did have next week come out or something happens expect the unexpected expect you know something that turned out horrible that started horribly to turn out to be different expect the letter maybe from someone who you're at, at odds with a foe someone who's contrary to what you want, someone who could be enemy, or someone who's on the other side. Um, you may get some advice, career advice, and this takes your money up. You know, just you go from, especially if you sell anything. Fortune coming in, great fortune. Oh, somebody may have even gone to like a fortune teller, um, tarot card reader, somebody who you know is spiritually inclined, right? And they told them about your money or your fortune. And that's when you get somebody trying to align themselves to you and maybe even act like it's just love between the two of you and it's really about money. We have money come out also. What's the closing advice? I know we've closed like three times. In my closure. Let's see. Seven of Swords, I knew it. Ulterior motive. Underhandedness. Lies, deception, trickery, mastery. Acting like, you know, it isn't when it really is. We, that's why we have that Black Panther stealth. This could be a friend group too. This is loss of friendship. This could even be a lover. Six of Wands is somebody who wants victory over you, over the situation. They want you to put your, set your sights on them, put your attention on them, choose them, choose to allow them to come back into your life. The advice is choose yourself here with the Six of Wands. Um, don't, you go rolling in the mud, with pigs, then you know you're no better than the pig, right? Um, don't go rolling in the mud with this person. Be strong, be courageous, wait on the Lord. We got the lion coming up there. Um, choose yourself, choose to take the high road. 
okay choose not this is when you win the battle by not even battling you just say oh no hell no y'all ain't worth the battle and walk off or yeah this is um this is not right what is the closing advice yeah will of fortune it looks like um yeah, something changes for you. Circle of group, a, a circle or social circle um, changes for you. You're going to be sitting in different groups or different rooms here coming up again. The universe is aligning things for you to take action. Like they're putting everything in place. Like, you know, like the doors are opening. The doors to the room are opening. Um, for you to change or make some change or change your fortune. We have fortune come out. We have money come out. For you to change the trajectory of your life. For you to let some tough time in in your life. To really put it to an end, a close. Maybe even in love also. This is an opportunity for you to meet someone new. Meet your soulmate. Yeah, the devil. The will of fortune and the devil. Someone could be trying to tempt you, yeah. Tempt you away. Lust. Temptation. Come take a walk on the dark side. Come come out and play. Playfulness. Childishness, says the devil. Um, uncontrolled energy. We've got controlled energy with the chariot. Something about to be very victorious in your life. Somebody knows it and they want opportunity to maybe ride the coattails. They want to ride your coattail here. They want to come back because they've gone to some fortune teller, some soothsayer, some, I don't know, gone and, you know, got your fortune read. Or they've gone and, you know, seen what, what is to come for you. Yeah, the two of pentacles. So they're going to put on this act. Okay. Two of pentacles talks about knowing that, you know, someone is, um, is watching. So you put on an act. The juggler knows that he's on stage. Therefore, he's going to, Put the act on. He's going to turn on lights, camera, action. So this person could be acting like they've had change happen in their life. They have change, yeah. Um, decrease happen in their life. And now they want to, yeah, this is decrease with the devil and the two of pentacles. This is Capricorn energy also. They still need to learn some lesson here and they haven't learned it. Um... It's a lot going on in their life. They transfer money. They doing all kinds of stuff. They, you know, it could be you right now, Aquarius. Um, but it looks like your fortune is going to change too. Yeah, six of swords. Um, deciding that you know you got to chart a new course to happiness, to peace. Leave something behind. Leave that self-sacrificing part of you behind where you would just give 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 and like okay I'll make it right and oh they're sad without me so let me come back into their life and make them happy no not no more you have the hermit card leave something behind come into a new philosophy on life love self experience foundation self also Putting self first. Understanding. Understanding, yeah. We got Virgo energy. So you gotta have a breakthrough, Aquarius. You're gonna have a breakthrough, but you gotta have the breakdown before or some the breakdown before you can have the breakthrough. And maybe the breakdown is maybe the ending of this relationship. Is this about a specific person coming back? No, it's more than one person. Two of Wands. Um, these are people, or yeah, people you've ignored. Yeah, Ten of Swords. You have the. This could be family. This could be curse. This could be just um, someone who can't cope with the fact that it's over, or that you're done. King of Wands, um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, male, Cancer. It could be anybody. Somebody can't cope with the fact that you're done. It's over. You're ignoring them. You've shunned them. You've closed the door. 
you're seeing that the grass is greener on the other side. You did this without maybe giving them opportunity to talk to you or to see or pick your brain or see where you are. Therefore, they can't get over this. You're coming to a place of um, really long-term goal achievement, money coming in. Maybe even meeting a new person, spiritual gifts, clairvoyance is what I'm hearing, understanding yourself, deep understanding of self, your emotions. You come into really love you. You have five of wands. You can have a new love coming in, several. The death card. You could even be putting a death to being so confused, uh, at war with yourself, com combating, combat. Um, you could be putting a death to being at war with self, uh, fighting for also fighting for what is what was what are we putting an end to oh we're putting into like third party situations fighting for people's attentions affections love we're putting an end to having unrealistic expectations in love also you know um liking the newness of love but not knowing how to maintain it thinking that love is a battle all you know you come and put an end to that love ain't no damn battle you know no yeah four of cups um coming to a place of like meditation meditative state here um meditating on what was um this could even be somebody else too somebody's missing the point they're missing the reason though they're not seeing that something is or was a blessing where oh 47 minutes i gotta go the strength card, the eight of pentacles. Someone's not seeing that their ego is in the way. You got eight. And this is why they keep getting these cyclical relationships. It's the same thing that's happening over and over. It could be you, Aquarius. Some of you are coming to a place of understanding that you can't keep doing the same thing, allowing the same thing to happen you know, um, with the same person or different people and expecting a different outcome. You, you're really coming out of that circle, that cycle. you really understanding that maybe it's you. It's you that's keeping you stuck. Um, you come into a place of compassion for yourself, forgiveness for others and self. Can't make it up. The star card, uh, a clear road. So you're now you're coming to clarity. You're also... Um, releasing the baggage from previous relationships or hurtful relationship. You're not carrying it with you. You're releasing. She's pouring out the water. She's pouring out the emotions. Getting yourself in alignment. Chakras in alignment. You've been out of alignment, doing too much of something, leaning too much on you filling the blank. The page of one while you're coming out renewed, Aquarius. A renewed sense of self, happy, abundant, living life on your own terms, completely accepting you, dressing different, looking different, makeover, promotion, big, large sums of money, um, working how you want to work on your schedule, you know, whatever. Wow. Yeah. Two of cups with the magician. Some of you, this is like really expecting, I mean, accepting some spiritual, um, gift, a spiritual connection walk path spiritual path and now you're, you're put in a place where you're manifesting also you're channeling from the divine you're getting like real um real strong downloads bright flashes of um inspiration coming into you you're using everything some of you are getting into different divination uh, methods you're taking matters into your own hands like you're trying to bring down what you know is for you what is in the heavens for you to the real world to the 3d where you are now um some of you are trying to bring something into fruition that yang energy here there could be even somebody here who's trying to recover a relationship or get forgiveness from you or come back together yeah high priestess um 
you and this person are not together. This is 5D. You're supposed to be together, but you're not together. You know, some of you are coming up with, uh, you have ideas and now you're going to come up with a plan and then you're going to execute. You're going to implement. This is the gestation period for you to, yeah. Some of you are really expect, accepting. Okay, some of you are expecting a spiritual path, gift to come to you. Some of you are really accepting it also. Um, some of you are just coming out with a plan. You're about to bring something to fruition. It's a big, major plan. Um, what else do we want to tell Aquarius? Four Wands, yeah. Successful completion of a project. Some plan. You had a plan here, and then you brought it into fruition. This is really good. The Four of Wands talks about, um, of course, success, reunion, um, the cause to celebrate, uh, eloping. Um, and it talks about um, maybe even reunion with friends, family, loved ones, parties, celebration, feeling good, wanting to take loved ones out. It talks about movement, movement of home, foundation, uh, travel. Just good news all together. Redecorating. What is this about? Page of Swords. Knowledge. This was always going to happen, but it was delayed for some reason. Challenging news. This could even be somebody looking in on your life. How great it is. Yeah. Um, some of you are going to like get some type of whim or some type of, um, I don't know, all of a sudden you may want to travel. Can't make it up. The Knight of Wands with the Fool. All of a sudden you may want to travel, move, let something new develop for yourself. All of a sudden you learn the lesson. You have nothing to lose. You've got... You're really going to trust yourself. You're going to step out on faith. You're going to follow your heart's desire, your dream. What may seem as a pipe dream to others seem as not real or you don't do real work or whatever. You're going to follow it. And it could, this is the budding entrepreneur. This is finishing what you're starting. This is, um, you know, not taking no for an answer. This is moving forward. This is fast movement. This is doors opening, taking action. Some of you just going to throw yourself out there. It is what it is. You're going to do it. Yep. Ten of cups. You, go. you will be rewarded for your hard work. You sure will. You will be rewarded for your hard work, Aquarius. Um, fortune you have fortune coming up again after a difficult period a queen of cups some of you could be energy workers healers social workers good listeners good listeners because you're able to remove your emotions you're not giving any emotions away but you're just giving great advice you have good advice because you're not attached to the outcome what they do with the advice is what they do with it. You've done your job. You know why you're here. Five of Cups. You, know, you help people come out of a very tough place You know, in their life. You help people come out of war with themselves, with others, in relationships, um, chaotic relationships, volatile relationships, um, fluctuation in money, job. I don't know. You help people. What else? Yeah, page of pencil. You give them like tangible things they can do. Oh, the page of wands. This is going to be like a new job or a new side hustle or something. Something you manifested. You're learning it. Uh, also, this is divination. This is the tarot. This is, I'm hearing like divination by fire. Some of you learn how to divine by using fire. The fool card coming out again. With the Two of Cups, with the Queen of Swords, some of you using your words also, your communication, your spoken word, the Knight of Pentacles, slow, steady growth, 
going to travel for work. Some of you really coming into like guru status, like what you say can be trusted because you got a lot of knowledge, a lot of wisdom. People follow you. People trust what you say because you also um, you practice what you preach. You know, um, you are different. Your life is different. You got somebody trying to come back and you have more than one person. Uh, friend, family, I don't know, trying to come back and um, take you off your square. It says no compromise, Aquarius. Don't compromise. Um, I'm trying to take you off your square because I don't want to see you get where you want to be. But it's more than just them. It's the energy behind them. And it could be negative dark force trying to use them to take you away from where you need to be, Aquarius. This is what I have for you. 55 minutes later if it resonates for you let me know how it resonates for you go over to the website book your own reading there ask a question or two by texting it to the number below aquarius the channel is going through so many different changes so the readings are going to be kind of you know here they're sporadic by the first of next month september 1st everything should be kind of laid out and everything will be in order so it's a few days from now all right Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care. All links are below. I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let me know where you are checking in from. Um, we got, Again, we've got high viewership in New York, L.A., Chicago, Dallas, London, Houston, Atlanta, and Philly, okay, Philadelphia. So um, let me know where you are checking in from. Uh, down in the comment section. Let me know how it resonates for you. Are you really planning something big? Um, and then you're going to put it out to the world? Let everybody know, okay? Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.